I'm going to show you the simplest way to scrape data from Appify using an NA10 workflow, which is so much simpler than all the other methods I see used out there. And the only thing you need is actually these two nodes right here. So we can start from scratch and we can just delete all of these. And then you can start from only the manual trigger when clicking test workflow and we can add a new little node here. And we want to use, let me just put myself over there. Uh, we want to use the HTTP request. And in this request, we just basically going to uh, request the URL we need to get from Appify. So if you head over to Appify and you make yourself an account there, you can search for whatever scraper you would like to use. It doesn't really matter. It works for any scraper. Uh, so for now, we'll just use the Google Maps extractor as an example. So in every scraper in Appify, you get a lot of different options to basically define how you want your scraper to run. So when you're happy with that, you can come over to integrations. We want to click on add integration. And in here, we want to find the use API endpoints, which you can click on and we can scroll down to the run uh, actor uh, run actor synchronously and get data set items because this actually does all the operations we want and it has the your api token baked in so you don't need to basically set that manually in your http request so you can just copy this then you can paste it in here and when you paste this url in here you will see that you have your api token at the end of the url so you do not need to configure that and then we want to send a body with the JSON object that we basically made when we defined how we wanted our uh, scraper to run. So if we head over to inputs and we find the JSON in here, you can uh, copy this JSON that you wanted to scrape. And you can, uh, by using JSON in the body, we can just paste that in here. And now we can test this step to see whether or not our scraper works as we want it to. And now, as you can see, we successfully scraped five roofers in Boston, which is what I had set as the parameters. So what we can do with this output now is that we can actually split this out so we get some uh, good data we can work with. And basically, we can do whatever we want with it. We can put it into a Google Sheet or whatever. So we want to search for split out. And then we want to say that uh, we want to split the fields by the title. Uh, if we drag the title over here and we want to include uh, selected other fields, we can also just select all of them if we want to do that. But for now, we will just select the fields we would like to use. So we can say, for example, we would like to have the uh, address and we want to have the city and we want to have the website and we want to have the phone and formatted because then you can use the phone number to let me just turn on my camera again. There we go. And then we can just use the phone number to do some operations when it is in formatted. And uh, that looks good for now. We can also do the total score. That is a nice one to have. And then we can test this step to see what the output is. And as you can see, now we have all of those parameters we wanted to include right here, split out to a nice little array, which we can use in our Google Sheet. For example, if we add another, another node here called Google Sheets, there we go. And we can just say uh, append row in sheet. And by the way, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe. That would mean a lot to me. And we want to say from for the leads from automation and then automation, for example, and the sheet one. And what we can do now is we can actually just move myself over here. We can actually set the business name to the title and basically use all of these inputs we got from the split out to set a new row in Google Sheets. And uh, that is basically it. So uh, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.